How's it going everyone? Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports and today we're looking at a 1999 Honda Accord Wagon SIR Sportia. That is the proper name for it. To me it's just a Honda Accord slash TL. I mean the front kind of gives me a whole bunch of TL vibes along with some stuff on the inside which we'll go over but it is kind of a funky looking car if you look at the rear it's very different i you know if you've seen the channel and some of our imports in the past i do have a thing for wagons and this one's been pretty solid i've been driving this and the smx taking turns for the past couple of days this one did just arrive it is a stock car so it's not a custom order it is available until it's either reserved or not on the website and we're just gonna show it off i've had a lot of interest in this car so this is a july 1999 car i did buy this car in february i believe and we had to store it um, until it was legal to import we exported it at the end of last month and it just arrived with the uh, celica i'm going to be doing a video on that next we did buy this from the original well, not original owner but from in owner so that means it was being driven it wasn't just sitting in some barn waiting for it to hit the 25 year marker we generally like getting cars like that that means it's been serviced kind of looked after and there's just you know not a lot of headaches when we're doing our routine services routine services on this car big thing i want to mark on it, or talk about or just really the four new yokohama tires we did everything else is kind of just routine stuff fluids we did the front pads and rotors on this one they were kind of going out we didn't do the rear because they were a little over half-life so it wasn't necessary so just going to do a quick little lap like i said we did buy this from an actual person or not actual person in japan but someone driving the car so it does have a couple of little little things here and there like i said the shape on this one is very unique in my opinion i love the uh long rear light which we're gonna see in just a second and i don't know i just have a thing for wagons and this one when i saw it at auction i was like yep yeah, it's it's a honda too so it can't be bad it's got the h23a i believe that's the fifth generation honda prelude engine so pretty solid engine and if you do some work to it i'm sure you can get some more juice out of it so just going over some of the cosmetics it's going to be really just basic stuff you have some rock chips you can see someone tried to repair some of that right there pretty common in japan it's still a little wet for me rinsing it off a second ago right here too big one right here looks like they uh might have side swiped something or somebody um that's one spot it's got some curb rash on that wheel i'll go over in just a minute does have some aftermarket wheels though do have some paint peel right here on top of the mirror top checks out and looks good Again, Japan goes through a uh, single stage paint. So most of these cars just sit out and bake in the sun. This one must have been stored inside because it's it's very nice. Aside from just, you know, the curb rash and whatever this guy hit or, <coughs> pardon me, had like an accident or whatever. You see right here on the wheel as well. Aside from that, the rest of the car is gorgeous. The inside is very nice as well. said I can't just get over that it just looks so funky the rest of the wheels look good though it's just that side those two spots mechanically though it is sound no rust we don't buy cars with rust and if they do have rust it's either very minimal surface rust and it is disclosed to any potential buyers gotta get hot real quick so looking at the inside like I said I wasn't lying just as nice as the outside it's got the same like weird pattern these are like rectangles but like the smx had little bubbles the orange and blue offset like i said it, on the inside it just feels like a tl back seat just as nice out a little bit there we go headliner very nice again the car is very well maintained it's in great condition been a pretty solid daily driver as well 
was jamming out to some music yesterday this speakers and system you know whatever factory came in this thing i mean it thumps it's pretty nice i was jamming out um it does have an aftermarket navi but again like all the radios and navigations they're just suited for japan you're gonna have to change those and pretty much every jdm you get over here most of them then just some more pans of the back seat. We'll look at the trunk. Forgot about that. Very, very nice back here. Spacious. Lots of room. Got your uh, shade. Good condition. Um, I think this thing moves. No, it doesn't. Wait, does it? Oh, it just, you can remove it. Um, oh wow, I think this is a CD player over here. Interesting. There's your spares under here. Everything's like pretty nice and the little panels and all that stuff. Like, I'm digging it. I like it. So as we are, you know, approaching later years, getting some uh, digital odometers now. So I gotta turn the car on. So we are sitting at 120, hold on, I thought I was gonna talk. It'll say it in a minute. This one's so delayed. Come on, now you're making me look stupid. Hundred twenty-one thousand seven hundred and seventy-two thousand kilometers. That's around seventy-five thousand miles, and that is your ETC reader. It just basically says, "Please insert your card," so you can go through the tolls in Japan. Automatic transmission, ice cold AC. I did just fill it up, so it is uh, one thirty-four. So pretty easy to fill up at the gas station yourself. Do have your remote for your navigation and whatever system a couple of man or manual and a service record bay looking pretty good no rust it's mainly a skyline thing anyways but good old doach v-tech smooth good looking engine bay a little dusty of course and like i said you know i think i listed off everything we did but all these cars go through a routine service i drive these cars when they land too to test them out make sure it doesn't need anything before sale just to make sure you guys are happy and satisfied but this is going to be it for this one i appreciate everyone stopping by and checking it out it is available if you are interested feel free to reach out if it does escape and uh, you are looking for another one you can always place an order we can go find another one for you um yeah so we'll see y'all on the next one thanks